Hello, welcome to this video. I recently drew this whale and this one that is missing some flippers. Today I want to paint a whale with watercolors. The motif is inspired by some dreamy whale paintings that I found on Pinterest. I think the painting is pretty simple and it took me about one hour to complete it, excluding the times it needed to dry in between the individual steps. Do you ever dream of a different world? Do you think a different world is possible? There is water all around me. The light only penetrates the upper layers. Dark depths stretch far beneath me. A vast world of the unknown. But what is known in this world, in this life? Don't we all create a safe bubble around us? Structures that support our lives. We have accumulated incredible amounts of factual knowledge as humans. Yet we are only capable of learning so much in our own lifetime. We are only capable of knowing so much. Maybe it reaches beyond ourselves, our immediate surroundings. But even going to our neighbors, another country or another continent, we are confronted with starkly different realities from our own. Can we grasp them? Can we ever really understand them? If we are not born there, have not lived that. All we can do is be kind, cultivate empathy and compassion with others, humbly. Let yourself be humbled by differences rather than building defenses. Let the light go deep, but know that it can only reach as far as transparency goes and will reflect where there is resistance. Anything that is not transparent is a mirror. A mirror of light that makes objects visible to our human eyes. A mirror of ourselves and others. As Mary Oliver said in Wild Geese, You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination. Over and over, announcing your place in the family of things.
colors of the waves come into existence by light bouncing off them as physical objects and reflecting what is above and what is below. Are we willing to see? Can we change our perspective? Do we try to understand others or do we judge them from what we think we know to be true? Can we go into the unknown, be that in the world or in others, and maintain a sense of safety? Because that is what scares us about change, isn't it? Change means plunging into something else, something we haven't experienced yet, something that could be dangerous, because we don't know. Yet, we will never know, because we all have a limited understanding and we are all limited by this reality that appears to be governed by time, space, gravity and all the things. We will never know what is going to happen. We are all in this together. We all depend on one another and each movement by each one of us impacts all the others. The effect rippling across time and space. So building awareness of our intense vulnerability at any moment and at the same time of the endless possibilities that go along with change, the fluidity and fleetingness of life, we can hold space for our need for safety while exploring different ways of being. We have the choice to plunge a fish hook into others or make them see the beauty and uniqueness that lies within them and that is so needed in this world. We have the power to destroy or to build, to take or to give, to harm or to heal. A different world starts with our world each individual's reality. This is why I paint, to imagine, to understand, to develop my skills, to set a counterpoint to the speed of modern life, to honor the light that is in me, that is in you. I would love to connect with you in the comments. What do you see and feel when you look at my painting? Do you make art? And if so, how does it add to your life? Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for giving this video a like, sharing it with others and for subscribing to my channel. Have a wonderful day and see you soon.